Good morning, good morning. So uh, today we start with uh, A2 Patron and welcome to A Squared Languages, wherein we start with this uh, A2 Patron of book. So my first thing is El Español E2. And whatever we are talking in the campaigning, you have to repeat after me. Clear? Okay. Repeat it, por favor. El español. Español, we have a language of Spanish which you are learning. El español y tú. The Spanish and you. Claro. Now we have verb empezar. Empezar is my verb to start. I will give the conjugation of empezar also because we have a full verb pattern in Spanish language, right? So if I will say I start, I will say yo MPA. So we already have done, but I will give you the entire again, the verb conjugation. Let's read this first page and let's see what vocab you will get it out. Then we'll go for a conjugation. Claro. Empezar is my verb to start. I will say cuatro lenguas in casa, four languages in house. Claro. Anelian Ivasile Viven Consus Hikos in Madrid ke lenguas aplan. It means Anelian and Vasile they live with his children in Madrid. What language they speak? Ke lenguas aplan. Now repeat it for favor. You will say what language they speak? Ke lenguas aplan. Ke lenguas, I can say idioma. We have a language also aplan. Now over here we have a Fill in the blanks wherein, for example, they speak four languages in the house. Is it clear to you? Now, for example, if I will say Anelian habla Spanish with his children. So Anelian habla Espanol con sus hijos. Vasile habla blah blah con sus hijos. It means Vasile habla Espanol con sus hijos. It means with their children. Now, for example, Anelin speak French. Okay. Anelin habla francesa con sus trabajo in his work. Is it clear to you? Clear? Now, over here, we have a next is Nico y Daniela. Now, Nico y Daniela hablan bla bla entre ellos. Entre we have between. And ellos, we have them. Now, Nico y Daniela hablan alemana. If, for example, they speak German language, I can say alemana. Alemana con intro ellos. Now, Nico y Daniela hablan alemana con intro in entre ellos. Is it clear to you? Clear? Now, for example, Nico y Daniela hablan español, maybe. Is Spanish con sus abuelos maternos. Is it clear to you? Now, the question is abuelos, grandparents, maternos. Repeat it, por favor. Abuelos maternos. It means your maternal grandparents. Is it clear to you? Now, for example, uh, Nico y Daniela. Hablan francesa, alemana, uh, inglés, con su abuela paterna. It means grandparents paternal. Is it clear to you? Nico y Daniela hablan bla bla en la escuela. Escuela is where we have a school. Is it clear to you? Now, for example, what to say Chinese language? Clear. In, in Spanish, I can say, Nico y Daniela hablan China en la escuela. Is it clear to you? Anelien y Vasila, Vasile hablan en, speak in, blah, blah. Is it clear to you? Hablan, they speak. We have done hablar verb. Now over here, we have four vocab, four verbs. One is empezar, empezar. The next we have vivir verb. Vivir is my verb to live. So we have a con conjugation of vivir. Okay. Hablar, hablan. Claro. Okay. We have a verb hablan. Claro. Escuela. Now conocer verb. Conoces. 
Now let me explain to you conocer. Pen down, please. Okay, let me take you to the whiteboard. Clear. Now over here, we have a verb conocer. Very important verb, my team. Conocer basically is my verb to know. Can you pan down, please? Conocer my team. Claro, perfecto. Because conocer is a very important verb of Spanish language. Conocer. Now, the moment I will, I want to conjugate the conocer verb. I can say, yo conozco, yes. I will apply Z over here. That's a rule in Spanish language. I can if I cannot say yo conoco no, because er ha I have to remove. That's a rule in Spanish language because we have to remove er verb, and we have to apply o with your conjugation with i. But I will say yo conozco, claro. Tu conoces? Is it clear to you? El ella conoce. Claro, okay. Nosotros conocemos. Repetir, por favor, repeat after me. Nosotros conocemos. Claro. Vosotros conocéis. Is it clear to you? And ellos, ellas conocen. Claro. Perfecto. Okay. So, what I'm saying over here. Let me take you again to the screen. So over here, he's using the vocab of conoces. Very important, my team. Conoces, it means tu conoces, we have done. Claro, my team, perfecto. So conoces a alguna. Conoces, now repeat after me. You have, you know what? Whatever we are talking over here, I want you have to speak up every content of this book. Uh, alguna, alguna, we have any. Alguna, familia, repeat it, por favor. Familia, parecida, repeat after me. Parecida, parecida is my verb to, to, to similar. Parecida, to appears like to. Now I will say, conoces a alguna familia parecida? It means, do you know any similar family parecida? Do you know any similar family? Is it clear to you? Now parecida. Now over here, let me explain to you. Parecida is a very important verb also. We have verb parecer. Repeat after me. Okay, I will write it down for you first. I'm saying over here, understand this thing. Conoces a alguna familia parecida. It means, you know, any similar family. Is it clear to you, my team? Clear? Now repeat it, por favor. Parecida. Parecida, basically, we use for similar. But we have a parecer, which I use for to seems like, to feel like, to seem. So repeat it, por favor. We have a verb because, you know, language is all about the senses. We cannot go for a literary translation, my team. But obviously, I'm giving you the lot of verb. Parecer, conocer, parecer. Similar pattern. Conocer. Parece. So I can say, yo parezco, repetir por favor. Yo parezco, tu pareces. Is it clear to you? Yes. El, ella parece. Is it clear to you? Nosotros parecemos. Repetir por favor. Vosotros pareceis. Pareceis. And ellos, ellas parecen. Is it clear to you, my team? So we have a parecer. Claro. Okay. So very important verb, parecer. Parecida, alguna, familia, any family, similar family. Whatever, what we are saying over here. Conoces, conoces a... Alguna familia parecida. You got it. You know any 
similar family so what is saying over here is saying yo conozco i know conocer verb because we have done the conjugation of conocer see the conjugation over here we have done the conjugation yo conozco tu conoces elia because this is the verb conjugation elia conoce nosotros conocemos vosotros conocéis and ellos ellas conocen parecer and conocer was very important is it clear to you clear now over here he's saying yo conozco un chico alemán i know a chico chico basically we use for a guy i know a guy german alemán i know a german guy que está very important que está casado it means that he is married a star verb we have a star verb casado we are married that is married con una china with a chinese he vivin in paris see he saying conoces a alguna familia parecida you know the similar family is saying you see si, yes see si, yo conozco un chico alemán it means i know a chine i know a guy german german guy que está casado that he is married con una china with a chinese he viven in paris and live in paris entre ellos between them hablan francés it means between them they speak french y con los niños and with the niños we have again the kids is it clear to you and con con los niños hablan alemán y chino they speak german and chinese is it clear to you now over here let's come back to the pattern of now what is saying over here let's read this estas en esta unidad vamos a hacer it means in this unit you are going to do hacer now we have done hacer in this unit in esta unidad vamos we are going to take we are going to do we are going vamos we have ir conjugation now over here we have two verbs again ir because ir is a conjugation of vamos a hacer hacer is a verb to do now let me take you again to my whiteboard so because these verbs play a vital role my team ir is my verb to go Hacer is my verb to do. Is it clear to you, my team? Clear? Okay. Hacer. Hacer basically is a very... Now, I will say, I do, you do. I can say, yo hago. I do. Claro. Tú haces. Repeat it, por favor. Tú haces, you do. Él, ella hace. Repeat it, por favor. Nosotros hacemos, repeat it, por favor. Vosotros hacéis, can you repeat after me, please? Hacer is my verb to do. Yo hago, we already have done in the even pattern, but obviously that's a new language for you. So we are going to repeat this. Yo hago, tú haces, ella hace, nosotros hacemos, vosotros hacéis, and ellos, ellas hacen. Claro. Perfecto. We have a verb vamos. Ir conjugation, basically. Claro. Okay. So, ir is my verb to go. So, what is could be? Yo voy. We already have done ir conjugation, my team. Claro. Perfecto. I can say, yo voy. Yes. Tu vas. Claro. Él, ella va, nosotros vamos, claro, vosotros vais, claro, and ellos, ellas van. So that's how we are working for the pattern, claro, <clears throat> perfecto. So, so basically in this unit, we are going to learn a lot of things, claro. Now, okay, let's read this. Read. 
recommendations. Repeat after me. See, because you are a beginner and you will speak very, you know, gradually with the breakup. Recommendations. Now, repeat it, por favor. In esta unidad, in this unit, claro, vamos a hacer. You are going to do recommend. Repeat after me. Recommend. Daciones. That's a new language. So you can repeat it. You can read this gradually. Recommendaciones is recommendations. So now repeat it was recommendaciones. Now first, recommendaciones. I can say recommendaciones. Recommendaciones. So in esta unidad vamos a es hacer recommendaciones. Now that how you can increase your flow. And I'm telling you, you have to listen my recordings again and again so that it will give you a touch in the language. Now, for example, that's a new language, and you say, re recommendation, re -co I do not know, I do not know how to say. It. Now, gradually, you can speak this recommendaciones, recommendaciones a nuestros compañeros para aprender mejor en español. To your companion for learning a mejor, best, mejor. Repetir, por favor, mejor, better in Spanish. Now, how I can speak? Now, for example, in English, in this unit, you are going to do a recommendation with your companion for learning the better Spanish. How can I speak in Spanish? So, gradually, you know how you can increase the flow first. You can speak very slowly. In esta unidad, vamos a hacer recomendaciones a nuestros compañeros para aprender mejor el español. Now I can speak in a very uh, gradually. I can increase the speed. In esta unidad, vamos a hacer recomendaciones a nuestros compañeros para aprender mejor el español. It means make or better aprender is my vocab to learn claro and i will do, i will give the conjugation also we have recursos repeat it por favor because language i want whatever content you have in this book you have to speak up you have to understand the entire content recursos comunicativos repeat it por favor Communicativos, claro. I'm saying recursos, communicativos. It means communicative resources. Is it clear to you? Hablar, what is hablar? Hablar is my verb to speak. Hablar de habitos. What is habitos? Habitos, basically, your uh, to talk about the habits. Habitos. Is it clear to you? Hablar de la duración. Repeat it, por favor. Hablar de hábitos. Hablar de la duración. It means to talk for a duration. Is it clear to you? Preguntar y responder. Preguntar is my verb to ask. Responder is my verb to answer. Sobre. Sobre is my preposition, which is about, upon. Sobre motivaciones. Repeat it, por favor, my team. Motivaciones. Can you repeat, please, one more time? Motivaciones. It is to ask. Preguntar is my verb to ask. See, these are the verbs. Preguntar, ask, y responder, and response about the motivations. Hablar de dificultades, to speak about the difficulties. Hacer recomendaciones, to do the recommendation. Describir sentimientos. Describir is my work to describe. Sentimientos. Repeat it, por favor. Sentimientos, we have feelings. To describe the feelings. And over here, we have a grammar part. I will explain to you. Okay? Now, let's come up with... Uh, this portion comprender now comprender is my verb to understand comprender 
Now, first of all, I want to go for these verbs conjugation because that's a new language. Now, okay. Uh, I can write it down over here. We have done the verb of aprender. Repeat it, por favor. Aprender is my verb to learn. Aprender. Repeat it, por favor. Aprender is my verb to learn something. Is it clear to you? Now, for example, if I want to conjugate, it's very simple verb, yo aprendo. Repeat it, por favor. Tu aprendes. Claro. El, ella aprende. Claro. Nosotros aprendemos. Claro. Vosotros aprendéis. Claro. And ellos, ellas aprenden. Is it clear to you? Then we have verb comprender. Very important. Because we already have done these work, but I'm just giving, I'm just, I'm trying my best to give you the module again and again. Claro. So we have verb comprender. Comprender is my verb to understand. So repeat it, por favor. Yo comprendo. Repeat after me. Yo comprendo. comprendo. Tu comprendes. Tu comprendes. Él, ella comprende. Claro. Nosotros comprendemos. Repeat it, por favor. Nosotros comprendemos. Vosotros comprendéis. Repeat it, comprendéis. Is it clear to you? And ellos, ellas comprenden. Is it clear to you, my team? Claro. Perfecto. So now let's again come back to this book portion. It is very important to understand because you know what? Whatever we are talking, whatever we are reading over here, we have to speak the language out. We have taste oral. Barbara empieza. Now we have empieza, we have start because we have done empezar verb because in Spanish, it's play a vital with the verb conjugation. Hoy, hoy we have today. Hoy, today, un curso de español en España. It means Barbara start today a course of Spanish in Spain, España. En su escuela le hacen una entrevista. Exacto, exactamente. Entrevista. What is the first we have vocab? Entrevista, we have an interview. You see, in his school, le hacen, they are going to do an interview para conocer to know su nivel, his level. Nivel, we have level. Nivel. Nivel, basically, we use for level, level in Spanish, level in clear. Now, in su escuela, repeat it, por favor. In su, because you have to read the concept. In su escuela. What is escuela? Escuela, we have school. At your school, le hacen. Clear? It means they make an interview, una entrevista to understand to know, para conocer, entrevista, to interview, para, for, to know, conocer, su nivel, your level. Escuchar, listen, we have verb escuchar. Escuchar is my verb to listen. Y completa la ficha de inscripción. Is it clear to you? It means listen, clear, and complete. E, we have and. Completa, completa, we have complete the, the, the feature of this registration. Is it clear to you? Clear? Okay. Feature basically we use for this form. Registration form we call as feature de inscription. Clear? So this thing from, from this, we'll make it on tomorrow because I don't want the session to be very heavy. So that's how we start this A2 pattern. Clear. Okay. So, nombre, país, nombre, we have name, país, we have country. We, we, this page will do in the tomorrow session. Clear. So, obviously, on a daily basis, we'll cover two, two pages and we'll read the entire concept of the language. 
Now, ¿qué, qué sienten en clase de español? If I ask you, what you feel in the Spanish class? So I will say, um, uh, yo poco timida, aburrido, boring. But obviously, language is not based that you have to cover the book. Language is based, you have to speak the language out. So team, whatever I mention over here, I'm going to share a recording. Listen those recording again and again. Okay. So basically, this is a, we started a A2 pattern with this book, clear, and gradually you'll get a recording of this book. Claro, perfecto. Okay. Adios. Bye-bye. Hasta luego. We'll see you tomorrow. Hasta mañana.